What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, hope you're all doing well. Jesse here for another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We're going with number four, uh, the one straight after Leia, Luke Skywalker in his Endor combat poncho uh, with his helmet. Looks fantastic. They've nearly done all the Lukes. <laughs> um, nearly done all the Lukes. Um, just waiting for uh, back to tank diaper Luke. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty and uh, the robes at the end of Empire Strikes Back that he's wearing after he gets his arm fixed. Um, so I think that's all they have to do. Um, but yeah, this one looks fantastic. Another another great figure to the line. Let's open it up and have a closer look. All right, so here we have Endor Luke. Now this is another great addition to the line. Um, I personally felt like this could have been achieved quite a long time ago when they uh, re-released the Jedi Knight Luke. A couple of years ago, uh, there were a lot of people that speculated that it could be a deluxe version that we were getting. Um, but no, Hasbro had plans to release them individually at some point anyway. So, uh, for the most part, this body is completely uh, redone. Uh, it's not re sorry, not redone, repacked um, from the previous couple of looks. Uh, this is still a 2014 uh, mold for the body legs, uh, new head sculpt, um, and obviously. A new poncho and helmet. Uh, so the lightsaber appears to be the same as he has had recently. Um, he does have the removable, if you remember the 2014 version of Luke, he did have the square on the uh, chest which was removable. They have, I haven't taken the poncho off but it feels like they have glued it in this time. So newly, he does have the uh, the belt there, which again, much like the layer, so sort of threads through the back there, and attaches by a peg on the back. But yeah, like I said, with the the layer soft goods as well, they're really well done. Uh, just the way they're cut, the way they sit, um, they look fantastic. Uh, this figure definitely looks better with the helmet on. Get close up for Luke here. Looks good. Nice photo reel paint apps here. Pop the helmet off. It was a little bit tight before. It just doesn't look bad. He's just got very. It's definitely the sculpt has definitely been compromised to fit that helmet. Um, but that said, they have done a good job. Um, his head just looks a little bit small in the back. That's just me. Um, he's definitely got helmet hair. <laughs> Otherwise, I think the uh, face sculpt and the uh, paint looks pretty damn good there. Sort of really only just looking at this through the lens as well. Um, it's actually better than I thought it was. <laughs> um, I'm quite impressed. But uh, yeah, well done. Well done Hasbro on this one. It looks, looks quite good. But uh, yeah, he will be keeping the helmet on. And again... Very similar to the layer, poke that underneath, got some nice details there on the helmet. It's a very nice figure, very nice addition to the line. Another Luke for the shelf. As I said, they've nearly done all the Lukes. <laughs> Just a couple more to do, and they will uh, they will have run out of Luke's. And then they can get back onto Han Solo. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up and give the video a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And stay tuned for more videos. Got plenty more where these come from. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.